credit card breaches and security attacks. We've been talking about them for weeks now because they've really become an epidemic in America and it's left a lot of people wondering how to protect themselves and their identities. So we brought in security expert Scott Merritt to talk about what you need to know to protect your family and your credit. Scott, how are you? Terrific. Thank you for having me. You know, I want to start with the notion that we are just constantly reporting on more and more retailers being breached. Now we're talking about taxis, using your debit card in a taxi isn't safe anymore. Is there anyone who is perhaps not at such a great risk or are we all on an equal playing field in terms of we're all at risk, we're all susceptible? Well, everybody's, everybody is susceptible and what it is is having your profile in a perfect format and then what that will do is that will prevent it from happening. Is it going to happen periodically? Yes, it's going to happen. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when and, and having the right things in place. So what do you mean when you say our profile in a perfect format? What does that even mean? Well, for example, you only want to use one version of your name on all financial matters, not how you sign your name to your friends and your family or, or what have you. Okay online but when any financial matter you need to have one version of your name on your driver's license on your social security card on all, your bank accounts anything that's financial related how about a middle initial if that's the way you if it appears on your driver's license you want everything to match if you use any variation okay. that's an opportunity for fraud really okay that's an interesting one what else what's another tip to uh, another one is a version of your address something as simple as using the word road in your address versus spelling out the word road versus the abbreviation Wow, okay, and that can make you more susceptible. Yeah, because but what you have to understand is a lot of that information is available out in the public, and so the version that is out in the public shouldn't be the one you use on your financial documents. Is there any safe place for our money these days? Is there any any place that we can put our money and know, okay, this is going to be safe, any, any kind of account that we can use? Well, you can use your checking account. Just do not use your Visa debit card tied to your checking account. Once you've used that once, you've put it out there electronically and owned it up to fraud. So in any capacity, don't use your debit card. That's a really difficult thing for a lot of people to stomach. Well, and that's why you should use your national credit card. And the reason why you want to use your national credit card is if a fraud does occur, the most you can be out is $50. Whereas if you use your checking account, it's unlimited. Because you have that protection. You have that level of protection that's insured to you Absolutely. by the credit card company. Absolutely. Really interesting. I didn't know a lot of this stuff. Scott, thank you so much for coming in. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. All right, Natalie and John, back over to you guys.